What is poppin' everybody? Welcome to back to the live stream. So today guys, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon got announced. And as you can see, we are on the website because we're going to be talking about, you know, the different forms that Lunala and Solgaleo now have. But what is popping to everybody in the chat? We've got the animated A, the Illusion Flux, Craig. What is popping, my boy? We've got Magnus, DB, Clorox, Jossum, Twixie, George. What is popping, everybody? I hope that you guys are excited for the live stream. Now, I think today, the, the I think this part of the live stream might calm down a little bit. <laughs> I think we won't get like a thousand people watching like we did have last like last time but hey we made some new subscribers absolutely insane of a live stream so i thank you guys so so much for it because it truly was an insane live stream it, it's insane because i thought you didn't curse i don't curse i never curse what is popping glasses guy names what is popping what is popping so like i said today we will be talking about you know the discussion and stuff like that if we fit time for shiny hunting uh we will do it but hey let's just talk about some new goddamn games that have been announced today what is popping though everybody welcome to the live stream so a new light shines on Alola, it says. A new light shines on Alola, which I'm more... Check back for details. So, essentially, this is all we have. Like, we don't have much more information than this. So, um, what's really cool as well, if we go... If we go to the, um... You probably saw, like, porn of them, everything pop up there. Um, the Pokemon... No, it's the Twitter, isn't it? It's the Twitter. So, if we go to the Twitter... If we go to Pokemon's Twitter... Pokemon.co and that. There we go. Here we go. The fan fam is growing so quick. It really is. It's absolutely insane. So, like I said, some brand new games have been announced and they're talking about all the different, um, you know, the forms. Obviously, because now Kyurem can't. Not Kyurem, sorry. I, I spoke Kyurem already. Um, Necrozma can now fuse with what, we, what we're thinking it can fuse with. Um, Solgaleo and Lunala, and now this would make sense, you know, Carlos appears, and this was the biggest hint that it got, and Carlos appears, and you know, he's talking about Alola and place like this, and he appeared exactly in black and white to, um, to fuse the QRM. Uh, together with uh, Reshiram and Zekrom as well. So, like I said, something like this is, is really interesting, and I see some people talking about, you know, um, we didn't have it for the Switch, but the press release, um, the press release website actually states a Pokemon Switch to be confirmed date. So, you know, what I said, uh, I say it on Twitter, I, I curse on Twitter, not on uh, live streams, uh, but like I said, um, the Pokemon, the, 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 you know, the actual site has stated that it will be for the Switch. Now, what I think is going to happen in, in, in this, it will be kind of like, um, we possibly, it may be just compatible, like they might make a Switch version and also a 3DS version. Now, I know a lot of people are like going so mad about, you know, the fact that the the Ultra Beasts uh, and stuff like that really don't have a role. But potentially, guys, we have to really look at what is going to happen in this game. They said it's an alternative universe universe they say um so you know you, we could you could see straight away that something was different so i don't know but was poppy bugman russia welcome to the live stream so i'd love to get your guys's feedback on this like i said i want to just open up an hour of discussion where people come in and we talk about it and stuff like that so what is popping call is an influence with a fusion he talked about um you know, in Black and White 2, if you guys never played Black and White 2, Carlos was talking about, the, like, the fusions, and he created the device, obviously, you know, that shoots all the ice and stuff like that. So, it is strange, though, that Carlos was there. So, I think that this is going to be the biggest hint towards it, that Carlos, it has something to do with this. You know, he appears in the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime um, as well. So, I don't know, possibly, like, Necrozma could be a Pokemon that splits his powers and can attach to another Pokemon. So, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I will pass you the FC later on, my dude, just after the stream. The head of the Solgaleo looks like Zygarde, Dodd. It really does. Like, I like how they look. Like, I'm, like I said, I I'm not, I, I think they look really dope. What I'm really excited for as well is the fact that Pokken is on Switch. I like that idea, too. I like that idea, too. Um, let's just go to the Pokemon um, they're following. They should be following the Pokemon, um... Okay, so he's following Junichi Masuda. 
So gold and silver have been announced and they will be put on the virtual console, which is pretty dope. Uh, that's something to look forward to, definitely. So as we see here, this is the reveal trailer and stuff like that. I don't want to play too much um, because obviously it get, you get copyrighted straight up. But hey, let's take a look. Let's just take a look here. So right off the bat, we have a new design for the male and female character. So that's absolutely insane. Like when I saw that, you know when he gave him like the 3DS games and I was like, wait, something something looks strange there. Um, so like I said, once we first saw um, how this guy looked here, he obviously saw like a brand new person. So I was like, all right, that's pretty dope. But as soon as you saw a lot of other different things, Andrew, just subscribe. Thank you so much for appreciate it. Um, but if we skip on forward just a little bit here, you can see... Mimikyu pops up out of nowhere. Mimikyu just pops up out of nowhere and you see the eyes underneath the cloth which look absolutely insane as well. So let me know what you guys think about it. Um, are you guys kind of happy with it or not? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. Like I said, it, it, it's strange that they've just announced this straight away. But either or that I am super hyped. I really am hyped. I think this if it's real, it will make your character travel to the Kanto um, or Lily will be returning to the... And I hope that Game Freak makes Lily your player character fall in love with the game. I would love to see it instead of Steven. So, what I like about this, so this takes place in an alternative universe. Possibly, will Lily even be here? Lone, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. Like I said, um, it, it's going to be super hard to kind of really think, you know, is Lily going to be in this region? Because if we're in an alternative universe... We have to really, we have to really think about all the positive and negative things about it. That's, that's kind of my take on it, I guess. Um, I'll just quickly put that down there. There we go, that looks better. So, like I said, I think it's going to be something really dope. They said the same about Black and White too. Yes, they dropped uh, Black and White, then they made the sequel Black, White, uh, Black 2 and White 2, which was pretty crazy. Of course, Christian, this is crazy good, bro. I'm so excited. I am so excited because, you know, what if Lily is evil? That could happen. Thank you so much for the subscription, Dance. Could you imagine if Lily now, in this alternative universe, actually works and captures Nebby? How crazy would that be? Something like that would be absolutely insane. Can I quickly go check this new trailer? Of course you can. It's absolutely insane. So Galia and Lunala are fused with a crossman. I think it will be like here in black and white. I totally agree. I totally agree. I, I feel like this is, you know, this is the their ultra form. So, you know, what what the purpose what it's actually giving Necrozma is something really interesting to think about as well. So Necrozma can split his power between the two and stuff like that. You know. Is Necrozma, like, the biggest thing about it was Necrozma was an Ultra Beast, right? People thought this so much. Is Necrozma an Ultra Beast? Is he just a legendary Pokemon? Who actually knows? I just hope it isn't too much of the same from Sun and Moon now. I hope it's not. I think near enough it might be the same. It has similar storylines, but I don't think it'll be the same. Well, I hope not, at least. At least we got Empoleon for Pokken. Yes, we got the boy Looper. I wonder if the legends are still shining. Like, no idea. FJ, just subscribe. Thank you so much, my dude. When is the game coming out? It's coming out in November 17th. November 17th is going to be an absolutely insane day. Pokemon never announced stuff at E3. Um, at E3, I'm pretty sure last year, we got to see the demo gameplay for Sun and Moon. And they said there will be a demo gameplay for people to play um, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon as well. So that's going to be really interesting. What's Poppy Swag Bros? Welcome to the live stream. I'm pretty sure those shots of Mimikyu are a Z move. It could be, potentially, yeah. Maybe they gave out some more fab uh, favorite Z moves. The shots don't like the main star, it looks like a Z flare. True that. Finn, do you think the region will continue with trials or challenge the gyms? Pepper, just subscribe, thank you so much. Um, the, the main thing that I really want, and, is, and I feel like a lot, of, um, a lot of other people can support it, is that taking out the gyms was so different to us because we're not used to this we were we you know this is this is unaware this is unheard of to us i feel like if they, i feel like they will keep the trials because obviously it is sun and moon and you know gyms aren't in that region gyms are not in that region so i feel like they won't have the gyms inside it i feel like it'll just be still the kahunas and stuff like that and this time it's getting a worldwide wide release which is insane as well so I really like FJ sub. Thanks so much for looking fluffy. Just subscribe. Thank you so much. Do you think my shadow will be in it? I still want to know. I feel like yes, my shadow will be in this game. I think it's going to be trials, but I want gyms. I would like gyms, but I think it will definitely stick to trials. So it's a game only for 3DS, no 2DS. It'll be com it'll be compatible for the 2DS. But remember, the official press site for the Pokemon website have said that the Switch uh, release date for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is to be confirmed. So, potentially, we could see it on the Switch. 
which is really interesting. I think you gotta play that game ASAP for us, bro. <laughs> I will try my best to. I will try that best. How might be a gym leader? Potentially, you know, a new Alolan forms as well, which is something really interesting. Think, are you a gym challenger or a contest star? I am a contest. I would be a contest star. Gabriel, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. We are one subscriber away from 34360, which is insane. I'm so hyped for this. I am exactly hyped for this. I need a new 3DS. That is insane. That is insane. You know, I'm so excited for this. I really am. Like I said, there's a lot of things that's going to be popping off. There's a lot of things that's going to be popping off. Like, if we go back to the trailer, when he actually gave him, like, the 3DS. Like, if we take a look at um, Necrozma when it wants to load, when my internet wants to start being bad, give it a year for the Diamond Pearl remakes. Possibly, we'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. But like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's going to be popping off. A lot of things that's going to be popping off. Um, if we go to the um, Pokemon.co.jp, which is the Japanese site. Now this is the Japanese site for um, for the Pokemon games. So as you can see here, it has this big trailer revealing it and stuff like that. The um, you know the Pokemon Tournament DX, and this is the Sun and Moon Ultra Sun and Moon. Look at this. Look at those new art forms, though. They look insane. Like, they really do. Uh, I think we should be able to translate this page. Another story of Sun and Moon. A Pocket Monster Ultra Sun, Pocket Monster Ultra Moon, a light, latest release in Pokemon series. Nintendo 3DS, November 17th, Friday. That is insane. Corresponds in the nine languages, which is dope. Pokemon is a mystery Pokemon that appears in the world of Pokemon Monsters Ultra Sun and Moon. It appears to resemble somewhat of the legendary Pokemon. Sorga, Leo, oh my lord, and Necrozma. So these are their new forms, and the legendary Pokemon that appeal, uh, appeals, including footage of Pokemon Sun Moon. It's insane. It is insane. Look at this. Look at this. So, those are the official logos for it. Look how good the Japanese logo looks. The Japanese logo looks so good. Um, the release communication feature but I, if you go to the actual you know if you actually go to the press website of the pokemon games they tell you that the switch has to be confirmed a date for sun and moon ultra sun and moon sorry so like i said it's absolutely insane so i've seen the trailer the wingle looks like it's following the player have they already added the feature that pokemon will walk with you they did fed said uh, they said it won't go to switch only a pokemon tournament that's what i thought that's what i thought so if you have seen the trailer i kind of want to get it up this still hasn't loaded. <laughs> Come on, Junichi Masuda. Please let your Twitter... Please let your Twitter load, please. That's what I'd like. Remember hints from the past. There's a lot of things that I've been speculating towards this, you know. Which, look, look at this. This is the part where I saw. So, okay, straight up, we get this guy. You see, so, um, this is the wingle part. I don't know if that's actually following you, but look, new backpack... And you know what? What's insane as well? It looks more colourful. There seems to be more energy, I'd say, in this. Because look, look at the difference. Like, look at all the colours in the back. Let's take a look. Okay, let's try and extend this. Okay, so at least we now... I know it's bad quality, but... Okay, you can't see too much in it. You see a little Pikachu park. <laughs> Togi Demaru just gets so mad. Let me see the Lycan Rock. They they talked about okay, so this is part of the uh, Solgaleo. Like they talked about um, Pokemon appearing that didn't appear before. So maybe maybe this is kind of like that Emerald sequel where they put everything inside it. That the Crossmere Fusion though, you are true. Uh, there was walk from sprites in Almonds in the cut for Sun and Moon, so maybe they will follow us. I hope and pray they do follow us. I think if they added that feature into it, it would be so much fresher. I really feel like, you know, a lot of people would enjoy it more if the Pokemon was actually following you and stuff like that. So, possibly of new Pokemon, you are absolutely correct. Uh, look at the surfboard at the house. Like I said, there's a lot of key hints here towards Pokemon following you, which is something that I really want to happen. I would love for it to be able to, you know, essentially have the Pokemon following you just like we did in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Now, they had this kind of coding in the Sun and Moon games, but it never happened. So maybe they were they were running it and testing it out for this. So that's interesting. That is interesting. New Alola forms. I would love new Alola forms. I really would. 
Can we get an ultra, ultra beast now? Yo, why if we get ultra, ultra beast? That would be insane. Really want more info on this. I feel the exact same. Like I said, it's the first reveal. Um, we're not going to see too much information regarding it. But like I said, there's something definitely interesting about all this. There definitely is. Like, look, you have Necrozma's hands here, Necrozma's hands here. Like, what, what can Necrozma do? What can Necrozma do? Let's take a look at Necrozma. Let's have a look at a little read of his bio and stuff like that. Okay, so, you guys have to bear with me. So, everybody, just need to... They clarified it was clarified ever and put it on the website. They did? Oh, that rip. So, Necrozma is a Pokemon whose body appears to be constructed out of black crystalline material. This Potion Lab's arms are three cutting jaw out of them. There was a single large uh, with crystal protruding backwards from each arm. Its small legs bend behind like a bird that have three toes each. However, it does not seem to use them and it can naturally levitate through unknown methods. A single wing grows out of each of its shoulders, which resembles a hook. The large protrusion attached to its head and its tail. So Necrozma was dis okay. So this is where it goes into the biology of Necrozma. So Necrozma was discovered dwelling deep underground, where it had slept for ages. Due to the nature of its body, its power that it wields, it's rumors that it came from another world in the distant past. It is speculated that it is maybe related to the Ultra Beast, if it is not how it, uh, actually one itself. However, the international police have no regards of it emerging from an Ultra Wormhole, so its classification is still uncertain. Despite being pitch black, it constantly reflects light like a prism. Light acts and the source of its energy, and it can concentrate the light to perform its signature moves. Okay, so, like I said, reminiscence of the Ultra Beast, this life form apparently asleep underground, though it is thought to have come from another world in ancient times. So that's interesting. Uh, the scream that you made when you saw it, it was amazing. The parallel universe from X and Y, but this is numinous, they are new megas. Like I said, uh, seeing as how a member of the Aether Foundation had DNA splice and Corliss was sitting next to the Aether house, thus meaning... Exactly! So, I feel like... I feel like in this game, they will capture Necrozma and... Corliss will be there, he will split Necrozma into the Pokemon. I don't know if that seems too far-fetched or not. But, you know, what's crazy as well, why make it appear on Tenkart Hill? Like, what, what, what is Tenkart Hill to the Pokemon? What is it, what is it famous for? In Pokemon Sun Moon, the deep, uh, the man in Northwest Hollow is in the Pokemon Sun guy there. The farthest hollow. An isolated part of Tenkart Hill. Yo, so, so like I said, you, you get Necrozma in Tenkart Hill, which is really interesting. So, Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun is black 2 and white 2. It was popping GG. So like I said, a lot of people really think that this is going to be like exactly like black 2 and white 2, which I feel the exact same. I think, you know, something like this could potentially happen again. Um, you know, I, I, I really want some more story info and stuff like that. Like I said, we have to wait till E3, definitely. We definitely have to wait till E3. Um, but to be fair, I want to know your guys' opinions on this. Like, what do you think about Necrozma actually fusion, fusion with these Pokemon to create these? Like, that's insane. And you know what's funny enough? When he's fused with them, they're in that type of form where they can pass through the Ultra Wormhole as well. So... If he's anything like Black 2 and White 2, Tenkata will suddenly become like super significant in the story, just like the giant Chasem did. I could see that happening. I could see that happening. This Cosmo is made. Oh, true that. Finn, I think that Unova and Alola will be both in this new game, as both of the regions are near and based off America, potentially. Hey, Finn, what do you think of the symbol of the prison armor that Sol Galia and Lonala is? What do I think of this of that symbol? Which is is very interesting. It is very interesting. Like I said, I'm so I'm so excited to find out what they could actually put into this storyline. Like I'm super excited to actually think. You know, okay, so Necrozma can fuse with this Pokemon, but what can that Pokemon do then when it's fused with it? So that's something that I'm really interested in stuff like that. That would be epic, but that's just a theory, a game theory. <laughs> It makes a lot of sense waiting for E3. Like I said, we will get a lot of information shown at E3 for us, which I'm really excited for. Like I said, there will be a demo test there for it, so that is really something to really to look forward to. We need a new evolution, says DB Master. I hope so. Should I buy or I think you should buy. 
Your reaction was amazing, thank you so much. Necrozma probably crashed down from space into Tenkatel. Potentially, so if Necrozma came from space, but then it talks about it lived in the ancient times, what about Deoxys? Where was Deoxys in this? Personally, I'm hoping that the Ultra Beast in the title means Ultra Space Less Beast will have more significant and by association type Nilsil Valley will be more significant since it's the Beast Killer. Exactly! I think, you know, I don't think Necrozma is an Ultra Beast. I don't think it is. I think he's a legendary Pokemon. Because, you know, uh, so many legendary Pokemon, I wonder if they, if like the majority of them can fuse with other Pokemon. So that's something crazy. If these games aren't longer than Cinnamon, I will rage. What if they gave Type Null a new evolution? Yo, so it's crazy if they give Type Null a new evolution to take on like this Ultra Beast, but Solgaleo and Lunala weren't bad Pokemon in the games, but maybe Necrozma is a bad Pokemon. And fusing with Solgaleo or Lunala, he's trying to control them in a way to use their power to destroy the land. That's what something could happen. Christian, would you like Alolan evolutions? Yes, I would absolutely love them. I would absolutely love them. I'm hoping they'll bring back memory transfer to black and white too to sun and moon. That'd be really cool. What game? So let me know what game you guys... When I play through the game, I, I choose Pokemon uh, Moon. So... Necrozman is a legendary party, I caught it and it didn't. Wait, what? That means evil Nebby? Nebby could be evil! Who knows? <laughs> Wait, so was it Deoxys created from muta uh, mutated DNA in the space? Aurus confirmed that the ultimate weapon mutated to the virus in space. Exactly. I wasn't fussed about Pokemon, but Pokemon Ultra Moon. I think they should have a new Pokemon like an evolution. For Turd and Edge, that'd be pretty dope. <laughs> Google just subscribed. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. What if you get Silvalia, then you have to battle Arceus? My lord. Necrozma is a legendary. It plays legendary theme. Yeah, like I said, I, it definitely is a legendary Pokemon. I took Sun. I'm going to get the Ultra version and definitely going to be Moon. Diamond and Pearl remakes next year. I was so, so upset that we didn't get Diamond and Pearl remakes, but hey, we got this. Azuril just subscribed. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the live stream, though, and you do want to show your spot, give it a thumbs up down below because it is always super greatly appreciated. If you guys are just joining us now, we are having a live discussion regarding about the brand new games that have been announced. Like I said, it's pretty hyped, and I hope that you guys are excited for it because it's a new game. There's going to be a lot of new features and stuff like that. I was hoping for Gen 4 remakes, but an Ultra Sun and Moon is hype. It really is hype. Like I said, it is super hyped. I, I, I'm extremely excited for it. I am extremely excited for it. And I just, I don't know. There's so much things I can say. I said for no reason. Well, I hope that you enjoy it. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoy it. AJ, just subscribe. Thanks so much, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, my dude. Like the hoops in Omega Ruby and F Sapphire with Ultra Wormholes to catch legendaries. Exactly! That, this is the one thing that I didn't get about, um, you know, Sun and Moon and Auras. How when you complete the game, there's just randomly all these Ultra Wormholes just around. Uh, not Ultra Wormholes, all these Rube. Tech Kid just subscribed, thanks so much. There's all these hoops just appearing around Auras, but yet you don't have any recognition of Hooper being there. So what was all that about? Was that just like added content? Toss, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. Like I said, I think that was just added content to it. Uh, what if the, uh, what if that not only the portal to the Ultra Space is open, but also the Distortion Worlds will open? Like I said, there's so many things we can definitely new. Uh, new Bob Nintendo, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. Like I said, there's a lot of new potential things that we can talk about, and a new, you know, potential things that can happen in this game. This is going to be an alternative game towards Sun and Moon, so it's taking part in a different storyline. So, it's exactly like it's a sequel to it, but Necrozma's plays in this game, you know, is going to be absolutely insane. It's going to have such an impact on this game. And I say at E3, when we get that demo gameplay, it's going to be better. It is going to be better. The graphics look so much colourful and more... Like I said, if you guys saw the pictures and stuff like that, they look so much more cheerful in a way, I want to say. Like, the colours seem more, I don't know, happy in a way, so... I don't know, so it's black and white too all over again, seriously. Necro Solgaleo, Necro Lunala, I reminisce to black and white Q-Rims, I have no idea what they're up to. Exactly, this is what I've been saying. So, essentially, Solgaleo, Lunala is exactly like, um, with the Q-Rim, Reshiram, and Zekrom. It's the exact same thing. And it's crazy that they've dropped that on everybody. That is absolutely crazy, so, I don't know. 
I actually don't know. I'm excited to think what it's going to be. I'm really excited. I just wish we didn't have to get this for Gen 1 3DS. I don't know. What if we can explore more of the place we went to fight Lily's mother? I feel like at the Aether Foundation in the mansion at the back, there's going to be some storyline there. I think this game will essentially be like Sun and Moon. Maybe they might switch it up a little bit and stuff like that, but the storyline as to opposed to when it comes to the legendary Pokemon encounters and stuff like that is going to be such different, and it's going to be absolutely insane. It is. I don't think it's a sequel. It's more like Auras when um, Ruby and Sapphire, but like I said, there's, there's a lot of things I could call it. I'm trying to just go with a generic name for it, but I don't know. Maybe it's a prequel. Who knows? Is it a prequel? Who knows? Who genuinely knows? Who genuinely knows? Maybe the after game we can travel to different regions, but you have to go to Pokemon to that region. I genuinely don't know if we will be able to visit a new region. I would absolutely love to be able to visit a new region, but I don't think that we will. I really don't think we will. Memory transfer has to come back. I see a lot of people talking about memory transfer and stuff like that. Would you guys want that to come back? Let me know. Let me know. Necronoa and Necro... Necrogala? Maybe it's a court game with Lily? Yes. I would. What if Lily is bad? I don't want my girl to be bad. <laughs> this is a long Pokemon come up to this. Like I said, November 17th, people. It's going to be absolutely insane. I feel like we'll get a lot of more coverage up coming up to it. We'll get so... Like Sun and Moon? Can you remember how much things actually got leaked in Sun and Moon? Like, how many things got leaked and then it showed you, you know, the fact of all the different gameplay and stuff like that. I feel like it's going to happen. I need Cynthia. I need a Cynthia in this game. I need a Cynthia in this game. It's before my birthday. Hey. A lot of people wanting Unova in this game. That'd be pretty dope. What am I shiny hunting? Uh, we will be shiny hunting soon. Um, a soft is heading for a Regirock and we're going for Magikarp. The player character looks like the one from Sun and Moon. Like I said, he's changed up a little bit. So I'm excited about that. I really am excited about that. Another story of Sun and Moon. Another story. So is this a prequel? to times before. So like I said, it's it's so interesting to actually figure out what is going to be happening. Super just subscribed. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. We are currently 23 subscribers away, guys, from 34. 34, 400. I can't even speak there. You know, though, though I was happy that they didn't hardly mention any Marshadow. I'm happy about that. So let's take a look at the stars. So, Thunder just subscribed, thank you so much. Like I said, there's a lot of people that were talking about the Stars remakes and stuff like that. People wanted Pokemon Stars. So, what, you know, it's crazy. It really is crazy. It's so hard to really put, like, a, you know, a pin in what is going to essentially happen. So, Solgaleo or Lunala, Christian? Uh, definitely Lunala, I just like it. How many people plan to spoil themselves the next five months? I don't know if I want to know much till then. Um, a lot of people, you know, it's crazy. I don't see it as, I see it as like some people can see it as spoiling. I see it as just getting more hype, to be fair. Anthony, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. Pokemon Tournament XD looks pretty dope. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I really would like to play uh, Pokemon when it comes out. Who do you want to be the Alola from past generations? I would love to be able to travel. I want some, I want some Sinnoh Pokemon in there. I'd love some Sinnoh Pokemon in there. Comes out six days after Leo's birthday. <laughs> One quick question. Price. Price, I can see it's been $49.99. No, it's... Or $39.99 if it's on 3DS. Um, if it's on Switch, then I'd say $50 if it's on Switch. What if How becomes evil? <laughs> That'd be insane. Hell yeah, Christian, you man. No, Lana 2. E, my boy. Mega Umbreon says Connor. Yes. What if How acts like blue? Potentially, like I said, there's a lot of things that could be happening. And when you actually look at the trailer right at the end... Yeah, it's Nebby! Nebby get back in that goddamn bag. The pillows are kind of lit, though. I'm not going to lie. If you actually look at the trailer and stuff like that... Like, if you look at the trailer right at the last second... Look, so this is what I really want to talk to you guys about. Look at this. So this is a black Z ring. So are we expecting? Like, why is a black Z ring? It's Tapu Koko who gives you the Z ring, right? 
A black Z ring. Obviously black for the Necrozma or the Ultra. Are these Ultra Z moves? Ultra Z moves. What is that? What is Ultra Z moves? Gladion had a black Z ring. He did? That's insane. In the anime? Necrozma is uh, maybe the protector of the Dark World? Could be. So Gladion does have a black Z ring in the anime, which is really interesting. That's really interesting. <laughs> Yo, look at this thing. Yo, look at the spikes. Look at the colors, though, in the head. And this is when it's in its radiant form. So that looks insane. So you're battle. This looks like you're battling the thing. Yo, I can see it. I can see it. All right, so... Um, okay, so I can see it. So essentially what I think is gonna happen is that Necrozma is that somebody's going to get Necrozma to fuse to these legendary Pokemon and you have to battle it while it's in that form That is what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's probably easy thing. thing. Maybe there will be uh, Revelations about uh, more being Lily's and Guardian's father. I can see that happening Trials are great, but I also want Jim That'd be nice. Like I said, Ultra Z Mega Moves. Yes! Tapu Koko gives you the keystone with the Prepotency to the Zering. Radio. Radio. So like he said, I think this is essentially what is going to happen. Because then we see it on um, Solgaleo, don't we? It's like, look at this. Now that looks crazy. It could be per perfect Zygarde. Yo. Because this looks like you're just about to battle the thing. That is really interesting. That is really interesting. So like I said, there's uh, it's a lot of there's a lot of speculation behind all this. There really is. There really is. The face is so cute. It does look like a little puppy though, doesn't it? Dude, did you see the Mimikyu? Yes, I saw the Mimikyu right at the end. That is insane. Loser Mine to return. You see, you know what's really crazy? I absolutely loved Loser Mine. I thought she was such a good character. And the fact that like that kind of happened, you know, it spiced up it spiced up the game. It really did. So like I said, I think it's absolutely interesting. There's 17 subscribers away, guys, from 34, 400. If you guys are enjoying the live stream and you are brand new to it, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscription. But like I said, we do. I'm going to try my best to get some more, like, daily live streams, discussions, and stuff like that. Obviously, when any news drops or anything like that, we can start to produce stuff. But like I said, this, this definitely is interesting. It definitely is interesting. So like I said, let me know what you guys think about it. I thought the names were Necro Solgala or Necro Lunala. Like I said, it's really interesting. What do the colors mean? I don't think essentially anybody knows what these these colors are. They're kind of like Zygards, right? So, who am I choosing? I will definitely be going for Moon. Uh, Andy just subscribed. Thank you so much, bro. I hope the walking features return. I absolutely wish for that to happen as well. I hope the walking features return. That's why you think about the media that went and the prices since Nintendo Switch comes out last year. It usually costs two nine nine. It is. Even Holt just subscribe. Like I said, they're gonna drop a three hundred dollar console and then a fifty pa a fifty dollar game for it. It makes sense to keep these on the three DS. It really does. Uh, Coles is loser mine's brother confirmed. That'd be insane. Fitex, what starter am I choosing? I definitely will be going for Team Litten. Evil Mori and Code, just subscribe, thank you so much. Fury, Lily is in Kanto. She gets kidnapped by Team Rocket. Team Rocket go to Alola to take over the Earth Foundation, steals Ultra stuff and the other powers of the legendaries. That'd be insane. Professor Guzma, evil team leader Kukui. <laughs> That'd be insane. Hey, my new TB has arrived. Hey, shout out to you, my boy. When I'm going to Shiny Hunt, I'll be going to Shiny Hunt soon. We're just having a little discussion about this. The colors represent the Z crystal. Exactly. So, Dominic, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. Can't wait for the story, though. I think the zo the story is going to be so interesting. I think it really is going to be really interesting. I'm so excited for this. I'm really happy they didn't spend eight minutes showing you exactly what Marshadow is. I'm really happy about that. Let's just take a look at Cerebi. So here, like I said, you can see the character. Johan, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Finn, do you think they will be able to use the laser? That's what I mean. Look at Corliss. What did he do to the to the Kyurem? He shot the um, you know, the 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 ice out of it by using Kyurem. 
Could he use um, Necrozma to shoot out the lasers and stuff like that? I don't know. But if we take a look at this, like I said, this seems wholly different. This seems totally different. So is this you choosing your starter? The new style and stuff like that, which looks pretty dope. This is um, the um, Necrozma crossover. And like, look, they're in their radiant phase. Do you think that Ultra Sun and Moon will have Necrozma fuse with Solgaleo and Lunala? I definitely do think so, yes. I definitely do think so, yes. Like I said, Pokemon Tournament looks pretty lit, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just trying to read. I'm just trying to read. It's like I said, this is pretty interesting. I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the chat and we can have a um we can have a discussion about it. Maybe we would choose three starters, I doubt it. That'd be insane. That would be insane. Okay, well the people will get Nintendo Switch at Walmart, Target, any shopping store, you can go, you know what that means. It's like I said, the the Pokemon trading company, uh the Pokemon um what you call it? Pokemon um I think it was on Twitter where I saw it. I think it definitely was on Twitter because a lot of people, like I said, they've been talking about it's going on the Switch and stuff like that. Kukui gets beat up by Guzma because Luzma cheats on Kukui. What? <gasps> so let me just quickly load up Sarabe. Oh, so the TCPI has literally said that it being on the Switch was wrong. Oh, right. So that makes more sense. So no, it is definitely for the 3DS. It's staying on the 3DS. It is staying on the 3DS. That's interesting. November 2017 is when we will be getting some information about it. That's insane. It'd be pretty dope if we got all three starters. Could you imagine if we got all three starters? That'd be hilarious. That genuinely would be hilarious. It, it's crazy to think. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine all three starters the first ever game to actually do something like that? I wonder if this alternate universe then does it mean Necrozma can alternate, um, cre create alternate timelines that takes over Solgali and Lunala in order to make a new universe? Hmm, that's insane. That is, that's actually really interesting. That really is interesting. Like I said, there's a lot of things like luring behind this stuff. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. Pokemon has been on two screens since 2006, so it may not sense to put. You know, what I wanted was the Coliseum remakes for the Switch. That is something that I definitely wanted. Should I trade Genesis for Azelf and Alpha Sapphire? I don't know. You can go for it, bro. What's poppin' Jacob? Welcome to the live stream, my friend. Welcome to the live stream. We are six subscribers away, guys, from 3400, which is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so, so much for this. People thought we were getting Pokemon Star or Eclipse or even Sinnoh Remix, but we got even better games instead. I saw a lot of people slandering Pokemon, Sun and Moon, uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for it. That's crazy. You know, Sun and Moon, they're big time sellers, so it makes sense to make another game for this. So. Maybe Mimikyu's true form is actually Marshadow. That'd be hilarious. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Oh, a Gen 4 remix. This looks kind of lame. Harrison, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Like I said, it is interesting. It really is interesting. And we have to figure out exactly what is going to happen. So, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys are excited, though, let's go ahead and swap over. We've talked about this discussion. I'll try and get some more information videos about it. Um... When, you know, obviously we move on and we get more information and stuff like that. But we will change to our live streaming people. So we are soft resetting for a nice and powerful Reggie Rock. We're only going to be streaming for another like 30 minutes or so, something like that. Um, so hopefully we can get our shiny today. I'd be pretty happy if we did. I'd be pretty happy if we did. So yes, thank you to everybody that's come out uh, and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in staying for the, um, for the shiny hunting, it'd be greatly appreciated. But hey... This is what we're doing on the channel, so. Noise. Nice. Papa, Chris, do you remember for the Sunday? Yes. Welcome to the live stream, my friend. They look like they have fused with Necrozma. They do look like they have fused with Necrozma. So, like I said, Necrozma is going to play a big part in this game. They're going to play a big role in this game. 
Maybe the reason that Solgaleo and Lunala have Prism Armor because the the Ultra Beasts are attacking. Essentially. Essentially, that's what possibly could happen. All right, Melo. <laughs> okay, so we got one encounter for the Magic Arp. I, I wish it would have been. I literally wish it would have been that. So Gal and Lunala might be able to create alternate timelines with all their powers and be able to create a new universe. Essentially, I think what is going to happen, I really think what is going to happen, is the fact that um, it, they've got this kind of armor. I feel like Necrozma has taken over their bodies. Like, that's what I feel like. I feel like something like that is going to happen, and it's going to be crazy if it does. I feel like something like that is absolutely insane if it happens. But hopefully... I can get this shiny Reggie Rock. I've been going for this thing for a Is the Switch worth it? Yes, definitely it is worth it. Is this game for only 3DS and no 2DS? It should be compatible with 2DS. Are you streaming after this stream? I, uh, no, this is the last stream tonight. Oh, there's a powerful Gyarados just drops down there. Should I trade Genesect for Azelf? I want to Giratina and kill it. Oh, damn. Um, essentially, I think the Switch is definitely worth it. Like I said, I'm going to definitely pick up Pokémon when that happens. I'm definitely going to pick up Pokémon, and I really want to know more. Like I said, E3 is going to be a lit day. Um, I will try my best to cover it and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested about learning more about Pokémon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, definitely hit up that subscription button. Like I said, I'm going to try my best to cover it as much as I can for you guys in a reasonable amount. Um, so I won't try and be that type of dude that's like clickbaity as hell like look I have actual gameplay of it So like I said if you guys are excited for the stream give it a thumbs up hit that subscription button Like I said, there's a lot of content to come people. There is a lot of content to come Magic Cat call for help. It's gonna be a shiny though. That's the question. That's what I need Douglas you subscribe my boy. Thank you so much Good luck, Fanta Team Lunal and Litten Bro. Hey, not a problem. Thank you very much. You said you will probably say like Black 2 and White 2 a thing. Like I said, I think it genuinely will be like Black 2 and White 2. It definitely will be. What do you think of the Unseen Pokemon will look like? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. God damn it. If we reach 3, 4, 4, 50 subs. That is the goal. The goal is to reach 34,450 um, subscribers. If we can do that, that would be pretty insane. It's been an absolutely insane day for streaming. If you would like to leave, my friend, you are more than welcome. I can go back. If people don't really want to see the shiny hunt and stuff like that, I can go back and discuss. I, I'm, I'm interested to see what, you know, you guys are more interested in. Possibility of the Rockruff's third form? That'd be dope. That'd be dope. A Rockruff with the third form. But we see, like, look at, like... The colors and stuff like that look absolutely insane. Yo, what if this? What if Solgaleo is Rockruff? Yo, the blow. You want to see the discussion? Okay, I mean, hey, if you guys want to see it, I will go ahead and do it for you guys. Okay? Golly, do -golly. So let's swap to that. We can leave this for another time. We can leave this for another time. But for us to have a discussion, guys, I need you guys to go ahead and speak it to me. And let's talk about it. I just quickly need to take this hoodie off because it is so warm. That is way too warm in this house. It is way too warm. Alright, so, you think the Lycanroc and Mimikyu previews are Z-moves? Essentially, they could be. They really could be. I was just looking like, I was just quickly looking at this. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Like, look how more fresh and colorful this is. Compared to like, what, I mean, yeah, instead of Moon, it was pretty dope. But hey, look at how colorful this is. So this seems like the same route that you walk up and stuff like that. Um, thank you just for the subscription. What is that? Is that an Alola Meowth? Oh, it's an Alola Meowth. I thought it was a different Pokemon then. Okay, so we see that. What else do we see? We see the Wingle. Now, a lot of people thinking that the Wingle following us and going around. I think it's just part of the scenery. Because that means then you get a Wingle, like, early on in the game, I guess. 
It's Poppin' Trex, welcome to the live stream as well, guys. We hit 34, 400 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so, so much for it. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Okay, I'm gonna trade a Genesect for an Azelf. Maybe Ultra Sugalia. That's insane. Ultra Sugalia. <laughs> I've heard of guys saying that will be a, a Mega Z move. I couldn't see a Mega Z move actually being a thing. I really couldn't see it. There we go. Just to update the title. You know what's gonna happen, then what happened to Pokemon Stars? So a lot of people thought we was gonna get Pokemon Stars, and I feel like essentially this is what Pokemon Stars is. This is what I feel like essentially what it is. Pokemon Stars, we all said, you know, is gonna be a, a either an add-on, or like, a, it had to be an add-on, didn't it? That's what we all knew. So mid, uh, maybe we'll see some form of Tapu Guardians. Exactly, the Tapus, there's going to be so many Pokemon that play a big role in this game. Like the Tapu Pokemon are going to be here as well. Um, there's going to be like Necrozma, Marsh Shadow, and stuff like that. Like the Ultra Beast as well. <sighs> I don't know. But then, is this confirmed? Nothing is confirmed yet. We're just having a discussion about it. Pokemon God Cap and Pokemon God Pod. Yes, that is what we need. That is what we need. They had a Gen 7 starters that all got Mega Evolutions. Now, what if all the legendaries have their own Z moves? Extinction Erupt. That'd be insane. Mega Z move? Certainly impossible because if it's this thing, it's gonna have power circulating around 300 or something. Exactly, I could see that. It's probably my shadow bug at the live stream. I couldn't really see an Ultra slash Mega Z move being a thing either. They would like having a Mega Evolution and then an Ultra Mega Evolution on top of that. Yes, exactly. Like, I, I can't really think that, see that it's actually going to happen. I really can't. Maybe a new island with that Pikachu preview. I saw that. That was pretty dope. So like I said. This here. This is the part that a lot of people have been talking about. The Pikachu part. Look at Togi Tomorrow. And this is where we see the Mimikyu. See, that doesn't look like in-game. That doesn't look like in-game battle, does it? That doesn't look like in-game battle. I'm right here. Like, what is this part here? That's insane. That is insane. But what do we see? Uh, but do we see what's under Mimikyu's costume? We don't, unfortunately. I would absolutely love if we did. I would love it if we did. But there's a, such a short trailer. So you can't necessarily see anything. But here, look. So here, we get a fresh new backpack. Which is pretty dope. This looks like he's taking you up to the part. This on the left here? This on the left here, what's that, a Pokemon Center? I think that's a Pokemon Center, isn't it? Yo, okay, so yeah, that looks like a Pokemon Center. So... In Sun and Moon, is there a route like this that has a Pokemon Center next to it? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Will Lily come back? I hope she comes back. I hope Lily comes back. You know what's interesting as well? In, I think, was it Black 2? Yes, it was Black 2 and White 2. How you started at the other side, literally, of the region. Essentially, that's what this could be. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think that could happen? It's Route 1? Oh, okay, good, good. Like I said, I was thinking then, I'm pretty sure I've seen this part here. Fantastic. I think the scenes with Togedemaru and Mimikyu like are at midday. I think there's all Pokemon out of totems. They could be, yes. I could agree with that. The route you go through to get your start. Exactly. So, I've, like I said, I saw the Pokemon Center, and look how much more colorful it looks. So, hashtag we want Willy back. Yes, we want Lily back. Thank you so much for the subscription, CC. As well, guys, we're trying to hit 34, 
forfeit it. If you guys haven't hit that subscription button, but you are enjoying the discussion, please give it a thumbs up. There will be many more to come. Like I said, we're going to do um, as much as we can regarding the Ultra Beasts and, you know, talking about Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and stuff like that. The Ultra Beasts have to have a huge purpose in this game. They have to have it. Or oh, the name Ultra, where the hell is that coming from? Fentex, I think this game will be on the 3DS and Switch, but only new 3DS. Um, it got confirmed that it won't be on the Switch, unfortunately. Do you think we could get extra Ultra Evolutions? Could you imagine an Ultra Evolution? That's like a sending pass. If you're the hippie, just subscribe. Thank you so much. The Vox Art Legendary is are fused with Necrozma. They are. What is the name of fusion from Solgalia, Lunala, and Necrozma? I, I don't know, to be honest. I think if on the website, I think it tells you. I think on the website it actually tells you. Hey, Pokemon, you actually subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. So let's take a look at the Twitter. Geo, just subscribe, my boy. Thank you so much. So this is the Switch, the virtual console, gold and silver. Okay, let's go back to the website. This is really badly translated because this never does anything good. Another, so this said another story of it. Strike, I'm just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Um, here we go. Saga Leo and Lunal, Luna, Alara. <laughs> what? It's thought to come from another ancient time. Like, that's so difficult. And Dan, just subscribe. Thank you so much. It's so difficult to actually think, you know, this this different time or ancient time. Where the hell is the ancient time? Like, what exactly could the ancient time be? Will it be a, your couch moment in that video, maybe? <laughs> Imagine if the champion was your past self, but that's impossible. I think the Ultra Beast will have a major role in the games in the storyline, and maybe there might be a new Ultra Beast as well. Essentially, they could be, yes. Finn, what do you think of the new Lunala and Solgaleo, a primal mega and new ultra evolutions or something like that? Um, I don't think, to be fair, I don't think these are new evolutions. I think they're fused. Um, essentially, in a way, for the Necrozma, I feel like something is controlling him. And they and someone, or some, someone, or something is controlling them. And Solgaleo, Lunala has come to save it. And essentially what's happened is his power's gone to that, turned them into evil people, so... Ray, just subscribe, my boy, thank you so much! Really don't know anything about Necrozma. Exactly, there's not that much information regarding Necrozma, so you can't really put a pin and say this is what's happening. So... Lily might have a new Ultra form. I hope she has a, um, a, new, uh, a new form. When will they be seeing our remakes? I hope so one day. Nicola, just subscribe. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. We will see Sinnoh Remix. I hope we will. Maybe it could be next year. Who knows? Corliss should be part of the main game. I feel like it does. Corliss and Gladion must have something to do. Exactly. I feel like they do. I really feel like they do. Something's, something's kicking off. Something is kicking off. And I'm excited to see what it's going to be. Comes out on my birthday. Hey, shout out to you. Necrozma is just some bl flying black thing. Essentially, I wish that it came out for the Nintendo 3D because I can't buy the Switch. It is out for the Nintendo 3DS, my dude. It's not coming to the Switch. Necrozma being put next to Solgalia and Luna Isle just spots the fact that even more is going to play an important role in the new story. Eduardo, just subscribe. Thank you so much. So, like I said, the next year is going to be the 10th anniversary of Diamond and Pearl. So, like I said, 10th year Diamond and Pearl could be next year. But hey. I want Kanto Remix and years into the future. That'd be pretty dope. Reactor, what is popping, my friend? Welcome to the live stream. I feel like Sinnoh Remix won't come for at least two more years because it'll be the originals on the 3DS. Exactly. I feel like they will put, they will definitely, um, they, they might announce, 
you know, the actual remakes next year because it's the 10th anniversary of them games. So, Lewis just subscribed. Thank you so much, dude. We're five subscribers away, guys, from 34 for 20. If you guys are enjoying the live stream, be sure to go ahead and do so and hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscription button, hit that bell as well. Like I said, we tend to live stream every other day here. And since the release now of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, there's going to be a lot of information to cover. A lot of information to definitely cover. So this, this looks insane. This looks absolutely insane. So it's late to get the regular Sun and Moon. Kyle, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, no, I don't think it is. Cause you'd be able to easily complete the game in like, like a week. So, will my shadow be in the Ultra games? I don't know. Fantastic. Is that information if it's only going to be on the new 3DS? Because I like super nice graphics. Yes. Um, it will essentially be on the 3DS. It'll be on the um. You'll be able to play it on the old 3DS as well. But any 3DS platform, so whether that be new, XL, and old, so you'll be able to definitely play it on there. Maybe the different characters are different Pokemon of characters from other game. Possibly. Like I said, it's a new story. They said it's another story of Sun and Moon. It's like another story. So is this a prequel or not? I feel like this is a prequel. I really feel like this is a prequel. What about the Elite Four? Exactly. But it's, it's hard to say because then if it's trying to like balance into the storyline and stuff like that... I feel like this is this is another dimension. This is another dimension game. I really do. I really do. I love Black White too, so it's something that the previous game has decided for Ek A. I have the old 3DS XL. Yes, that will work. What if Digimon were in the game? <laughs> Digimon just randomly appear. I do enjoy the video, but I enjoy it more if there's a your catch moment. Maybe it will occur in the same time as the sun and moon, but in alternate universe. That's exactly what I'm thinking it is. I really hope they make an awesome event with Marshadow, like a st small story mission. The Magina event was disappointing. It really was, and Magina got its own like film and everything like that. So I don't know why that you know Magina was just something like that, isn't it? Holy bleeders, holy bleeders! Why not? Why not a Diamond and Pearl remix D55? And um, the 10th anniversary of the Diamond and Pearl remix are next year, so it would make sense. Like I said, I think you know we really have to be thankful for this. We really have to be thankful. This is another add-on to Sun and Moon. So, Abstract, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Fate Tax, I won't see no remix next year because I want to die from a nostalgia rush. I feel the exact same. It's like, it's really got me excited to do a, um, a Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Let's Play on my channel. Fate Tax, I'm back from my holiday. Can you make me a mod now? Uh, x man Extreme, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. If one of the mods can do it, my boy, George. My shadow is just too OP to fighting ghosts. I don't know. D55 just subscribed. You need more subs. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys coming here and enjoying it. Um, like I said, we've almost been live for an hour now. I was just going to stream uh, for around an hour and a half just having discussion videos. But if you subscribe and hit that bell button, I'm going to be covering a lot of uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon on the channel. So definitely, if you guys want to keep up to date with all the information regarding Ultra Sun and Moon, I'll try to get another video out tonight for you guys. Like I said, we streamed twice today and we've had the upload. So... It kind of wears you out a little bit, but hey, we are here. We're trying to make something work, aren't we? We're trying to make something work. Thanks so much for today. Appreciate it. Maybe get a quick Pokemon with armor now. Yo, it's like Pokemon Conquest all over. Maybe you could, um, it's OP that. That's why I got in the movie. It is. What if Mimikyu's inside form is Marshadow? That'd be insane. That would be insane. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are available for Nintendo 2DS. Yes, they will be compatible with the 2DS. I don't think anyone expected Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't think they did. I don't think no one expected this, but you know what they did expect was something like, this is Pokemon Eclipse. This is Pokemon Eclipse, essentially. That's what it is. So, just, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Our goal for the live stream was 34,450, and I think, insanely enough, we will be able to hit that. Which is absolutely insane. That's absolutely insane, guys. Thank you so much. So look at this. Like, what exactly could be going off here? Because, like, why are we behind the starters? Who are they looking up at? 
Are they looking up at Halla? And then he turns around and looks at you, and then they all look at you and stuff like that. Look at the surfboard at the house. Is there something kicking off with that surfboard? This here? I don't know. So what do you think about the Peak of Paradise? I think the Peak of Paradise looks pretty awesome, to be fair. Solgali and Lanala might not uh, might be even more harder to catch now they have armor on them. I caught Solgali with the Pokeball. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for kicking that spell button guys like I said we're gonna be covering a lot of this stuff so make sure you guys if you want to keep up to date with it all and stuff like that necromancy what the hell the real question is why don't we get magic app jump for the 3ds <laughs> we should have got magic app jump for the 3ds Notice and request for voluntary collection and refund of mobile battery. Okay. So let's go into this. Let's go and do a quick little thing here. So what we can do, we can expect the element. So this is something that a lot of people can do. And this is how a lot of people get their, um, like... Um, a lot of people get their, what you call it. So these are, those are the radiant from Thumb Movie. Here we go, that's a better picture. Peak of Paradise, what's that? It's like the little paradise where all the Pikachus were. City Cat just subscribed, thanks so much. Fintax, can you can only make me a mod? I'll make you a mod after the stream, bro, I promise. I just want to know if Kukui is still a professional wrestler. Of course, my boy. Of course he is. Necrozma might have died, so it latched onto the Solgaleo and Lunala. I'm saying, all right, Stream Reactor, thanks so much for coming through. Will there be a stream tomorrow on my channel? They set Hopefully, yes, there will be. Jacob just subscribed, my boy! Thank you so much. Like I said, um, there will be a live stream tomorrow. We will still talk about more stuff like that. Uh, we're 18 subscribers away from hitting our goal tonight, which is absolutely insane. You guys are amazing. Um, I'm happy to all the new people that have turned up to the live streams and stuff like that. Hopefully, you guys can stick around on the channel, because like I said, it's going to be really interesting over these next few months. Fantax, what version will I be getting? I will definitely be getting um, Pokemon Ultra Moon. I'll probably buy both, to be honest, because that's... That's just whatever, really. The eyes are the opposite color. I saw a lot of people saying that on the, um... Yeah, look, that one's red. Look, doesn't Lunala look evil? It looks evil. It looks evil. Look. Look at this thing. It looks evil. Like, its eyes are red and everything. Raylan just subscribed this much. Maybe there are more than one Necrozma and the whole dimension dedicated to them. That'd be insane. Like, look, it looks... Does this look evil or not? Does this look evil? This is what I can't get my mind around. It's like, these legs here? What are these? Oh, yo, look how cute! Look at this! You guys cannot tell me that isn't cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute Rowland looks. That's hilarious. Let's take a look at... I think that's all the images that you can see here. Yeah, unfortunately, those are all the images you can only see. But like I said... Like this, they look evil. They both look evil. So some evil presence is controlling these Pokemon. And I feel like it's Necrozma. I really feel like... I just subbed in that notification bell. Hey, thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much. 13 subscribers away from hitting our goal tonight, guys. If you haven't hit that subscription button, but you are enjoying the live stream, be sure to go ahead and do so. I wasn't expecting Ultra Sun, uh, Ultra Moon, uh, because we have one remake console. Exactly. Reply this yeah, like I said, yes. I don't think a lot of people expected this. They expected Stars or Diamond Pearl remakes. So. There was a cave in the scene with the peak cat. There was a cave in the scene. There was? 
Well, that's got me more excited now, my friend. That has got me more excited. Let's take a little gander at that. Oh, I think we missed it, didn't we? Look at Mimikyu, my lord. Okay, let's take it back. Like, this Pikachu scene looks absolutely so cute. I feel like it might be like a side game. Like a side quest thing. It's literally on that second. Like that. What if Necrozma latches onto the starters and makes them evil? Oh my lord. This looks insane though, I'm not gonna lie. Like at the, at the end, the Z ring when he goes for that looks insane. What, is there anything there we can see? Oh, we can't zoom in anymore there. Because you could try... Because, like, look, if you look here... If you look here... And let me put this on line, uh, like, but let me put this on here for you. When I find it. Okay, so. Here we go. Hey, Granny just subscribed like this! So you can see, like, what seems to be the actual logo for it itself inside the game. Maybe, oh, it's at 1080p, the highest, so. What does the end look like? Uh, the Mega Evolution animation rather than the Z move. That's interesting. But look, this looks really cool. This looks co really cool. So like I said, there's definitely something to look into that. And I'm pretty sure this guy has a switch as well. <laughs> he has a switch in his actual room. Now tell me this guy doesn't look evil. Tell me he does not look evil! That's insanely evil! And the prism, the prism on the top of his head. But it's in its radiant form. That's what I, that's what I'm saying, like... Like if we go to Lunala and we look at its form... We only saw ever Lunala go into its radiant form when it was going into the Ultra Wormhole, right? Okay, so once this picture wants to load up for me. Okay, so take a look at Lunala here. Okay, so this is its radiant form when it's going through the Ultra Wormhole. Now look at this. Oh, wait a second. Oh my lord, I've lost it. There we go. Okay, so look how much blue it looks. Okay. So, this scene at the back here, you never saw this in the in the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. So, you're definitely battling the Pokemon here. You're definitely battling the Pokemon there. So, that's really interesting, the fact, like, look, this is the background of it. And Lunala only goes into its um, radiant form when it's going through the Ultra Wormhole or it's creating a Ultra Wormhole. But here, you're battling it. So, that's what's really interesting, right? That's insane. That is insane. Wait, did someone say they'll be announced at the port? Um, the minor features. Um, no, they 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 said um, a lot of people thought it was going to go on the Switch, but it isn't actually on the Switch now. So, did anyone else notice the Sinnoh games weren't behind the first guy on the shelf? Yo, what? Were they not? That's interesting. That's interesting. Let's go back and take a look then. Oh, we need to go to the direct, don't we? Hmm, that's interesting. That is really interesting. I'm just so interested, because here you're battling it. You're battling the Pokemon there, definitely battling it. Would have preferred Diamond and Pearl remakes? Like I said, um, I feel like this is the, the Pokemon stars that we asked for. I feel like this is the stars that we asked for. It's an amazing day though, brand new Pokemon game. Whether it's not the Diamond and Pearl remakes, whether it's not that, whether it's not Pokemon Stars, it's a brand new Pokemon game announced. We will play it, we will buy it. That's how it is.
look forward to it. That's all I can say. Look forward to it. You know, um, Monty just subscribed when Pokemon Crystal got announced. You know, a lot of people didn't complain about it because it's a new game. And it's the exact same as what Gold and, Crystal, uh, Gold and Silver was, but it just mixed it up. Something similar to what this is doing. Black and White 2. It was the same game, they just mixed it up. It's exactly what Sun and Moon, um, Ultra Sun and Moon is, and Ultra Sun and Ultra Sun and, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. There we go, I couldn't speak there. But that's essentially what this is, so it, it, it's interesting. It really is. There might be Ultra Forms and other Pokemon like the Alola Forms. Potentially, Lily will return. I hope Lily returns. Renato, told you subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. I know, because they glow inside the games, don't they? So, Luna Alla, Full Moon Fairs. So, inside the actual games themselves. It's like. So, shout out to Biohazard for the video, because I've glitched. Oh my lord. This guy's got a lot of dislikes. So look, we take a look here. And like, this is when it goes. It seems to like... That's his signature move. So it uses the power of the Radiant Fist to do its um, signature move. Just like Solgaleo does. Jeff, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Four subscribers away, guys. Four subscribers away from 34. For Fitty. Um, just like Solgaleo does in Sun and Moon, he when he uses Sunseal Strike, he goes into his Radiant phase. But here, like I said, here, you know, they, they seem to be already glowing in that phase. They seem to be already in their phase. And that essentially only happens, either are two options, they're opening up a Ultra Wormhole, or they're using their signature move. But here... Maybe Necrozma is forcing that kind of energy out of the Pokemon. So it can be its strongest. William, just subscribe. Thank you so much. What's popping, Sai? What is popping? Chris, what do you think of the games? Oh, I can drop my fan mail off. Um, what do you think? Uh, wait, wait. Chris, what do you, uh, where do you work at games? So I can drop my fan mail off. Um, what days? I will be working tomorrow, my dude. One while five. So you can come through tomorrow if you'd like. We hit 34 for 50 guys. Thank you so so much. You're insane. Did you notice that in the direct there are no gem 4 games behind the shelf and they do? Yes, we spoke about that. That's really interesting. I feel like it's Diamond and Pearl next year is its 10th uh, anniversary. So essentially we could see Diamond and Pearl remakes next year. I know we all hope and we all pray for it to happen. But guys, be excited, be ready. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is a thing. This is our Pokemon Stars what we asked for. This is what we asked for. It is. It really is. I'm just so interested. There is so much here. In just these two... In just these two screenshots here I have on the screen. Like I said, this is when it happens. When it's either using its move or it's opening a, a ultra wormhole. Here, the colours are totally off. This looks so much more cleaner. I feel like Necrozma is being controlled. Lunala, Solgaleo come to save it. The Necrozma latches onto it because it's out of control. And, and it is it's pushing all this energy out of Lunala to go into its Radiant Face so it's its strongest. And you battle it. You battle it. That's, that is it. When this happens, remember me. Remember me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Diamond Pearl remakes on the 3DS. Essentially could happen. I could see it being on the Switch. I can see it being on the Switch. I can see it happening on the Switch. I really can. What if Carlos fused Necrozma in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Why Carlos was there in the first place? Exactly. There was no content on why Carlos was there in Sun and Moon games anyways. He just says, oh, like, Alola's nice. He was there. Just there. And Carlos is a very smart guy. So... Dude, you're overthinking their fusions. Bro, I'm telling you, something's happening. I may be overthinking, but hey, I know Necrozma has fused onto this Pokemon and it's bringing out all of its energy. I know that for definite. I actually agree with Christian Mars, but he controlled for at least to latch onto Solgaleo and Lunala. Exactly. 
Exactly. But what's funny enough, that the fact that when you complete the, um, when you do the Ultra Beast missions and stuff like that, um, Lucas says that he saw a Pokemon fly over him and landed in Tenkartil, right? So where did, the, where the hell did Necrozma come from? Was it actually in the Alola region at first? Did it come to the Alola region because of the Ultra Beasts? I don't know. Do you work any days after 5? Um, we, we usually close at um, 5.30, my dude. The Switch and the console series, the 3DS and the handheld series. Um, true doubt. Maybe the old... Oh my lord. Maybe it latches onto Nebi and, and when it evolves it takes all the energy to make its transformation. That's true. That's what could happen. Do I work any days after 5? I don't know, my dude. Maybe Carlos was experimenting and he is splicing DNA, uh, but then it is muted and this happened. It's like I'm saying there's something definitely here. I don't think it's called Z evolution Yo, I, I wouldn't be so surprised to be honest. I really wouldn't be so surprised. I Really wouldn't be so surprised If anything, I think we're getting a new form of lichen rock that'd be absolutely insane if we did it's like Lycan Rock has turned into like the new Eevee. We still get no new. What's crazy as well, what we can take a look at. Um, let's do this. Let's take a look at 4chan. 4chan is a pretty dope place if you guys want to find out all about Pokemon information and stuff like that. Um, I know we're on 4chan right now. Okay, so here we go. So let's take a look at 4chan. See if anybody, because this is where usually if any information has been leaked, it will appear on here. <laughs> Why is she so per- Fortune's a pretty funny place though, to be fair. Fintex likes Eclipse. I like Eclipse. I thought Eclipse, you know, this is, that was it. You see, what's crazy enough, I like a lot of people giving it slack as well, which I don't genuinely understand. Um. Sinnoh? So like I said, I, I hope something like this happens. It's crazy, but I don't know. I don't know what's really happening. I really don't know what's happening. It's Papa Jabba. You know how we all called Cinnamon Sumo. Can we call Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Yusum? I feel like that. Familiar Pokemon millions are fans like Pokemon. They're butter people that have no diamond or pearl. The legendaries have been infected, but look at Lunala's. Oh my lord. All right, thank you so much, DB Master. Is this going to be a new game or an update? It's going to be a new game, a fully new game for it. I just keep checking the pre-release screenshots in case anything else gets added to it. But I think, essentially, for news, that is it for Sun and, uh, for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Fantastic who's thinking about T shots, bro? Can one of the mods time him out, please? Guzma is champion. If Guzma was the champion, that'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. What's popping, John? How long am I streaming? Probably will be wrapping up the stream in around five minutes or so like that, guys. Like I said, make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell button. We will be covering a lot of Pokemon Sun and uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon stuff. I will try my best to get so many videos out for you guys and stuff like that. It's something that I'm really interested in doing. And like I said, if you guys want to keep up to date with Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, Ultra Sun and... It's so hot! It's so weird now! Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you guys want to keep up to date, please make sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss out on anything. Three subscribers away from 34, 460. We've absolutely destroyed our goal tonight, which is insane. Which is absolutely insane. Two away, guys. If two people in the chat that haven't hit that thumbs up button and that subscription button, it would be greatly appreciated if you could do so. He's charming to subscribe. I'm going to buy Pokemon Ultra's Moon. Yo, so let me know now, before we get up on out of the live stream, are you guys going to buy Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon? Let me know. I definitely want Ultra Moon. 
That's what the let's play is going to be. Ryan Gamer, just subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. It's going to be a 12 hour discussion, correct? Wait, what? Just imagine if the Pokemon company is trawling. Oh, god damn. I work on Saturday, 11 mile 3, um, Diesel. Ultra Moon, Gladion is the Aether Paradise leader. I could see Gladion being the Aether Paradise leader this time around. I just subscribe and like. Thank you guys so, so much for it. It is truly appreciated. Make sure, like I said, hit that notification bell. It will literally tell you when we're next live streaming uh, and the videos that we're going to be doing on it, which I'm really excited for. Charles, just subscribe. What if Lily is your parent? What if Lily is your parent? That's insane. That would be insane. Oh, love your reaction for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It was so hilarious, that reaction, though. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. 34. We're halfway to 35k if we hit. If we hit another 33, 34 subscribers. If there is 34 people in the chat that haven't hit that subscription button and you want to help us reach 34, 500, which is halfway to 35k, which is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Make sure you go ahead and do so and hit that bell button as well as it's greatly appreciated. Like I said, we're going to be covering Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon a lot on the channel. Um, I'm going to try my best to get videos up daily for it regarding, you know, speculations and stuff like that. Because I'm really interested in Sun and Moon. It was something that I didn't do for Sun and Moon. Um, I, I really didn't do any, like, speculation videos or anything like that. Um, so, like I said, I definitely want to uh, keep going at it and stuff like that. MLG, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Wait, just read one of these comments. Maybe Carlos has an hidden item that takes Necrozma out of control and it takes over the main legendaries. Once you catch it, you meet N and it helps them get apart. That'd be insane. <laughs> Lily can barely manage herself. Her being a parent is a no-no. <laughs> uh, do I work any days after five? I don't, my dude. Uh, what if since the character is shown with the Gladian Z ring, he is Gladian's child and the ring is a gift from him on the child's 11th birthday? That's insane. Let's just hope it will it will comes out with a Nintendo E3 event this year. At the E3 event, they will show um, footage of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. I think the protagonist is the brother of Sun and the Moon protagonist, like in the video, that could be a thing. My video is slowed down. Uh, just go ahead and refresh the page, my dude. <laughs> I sent you a pic on Twitter of the caves. I will double check. Oh, this is the caves that you meant. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Right. Cool. Um, so let me bring this up on here for you guys. So we'll have a quick little discussion about this as well before we leave. So this is the caves that one of the guys in the chat have just linked to me. So we can see like the little, the little Pikachu paradise here. Oh, since it's a picture, we can't really zoom in, can we? Okay, so this is what we'll do. Let's zoom back out. Okay. So there we go. That looks a little bit better. So we can see, like, the little Pikachu caravan here. And then we see the little different caves. I think these caves, essentially what they are, are for the Pikachu. So they can get up and down and around in the caves. That's what I think it essentially is. Which is pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I like that. I like that idea. I want that cart. Yo, I want this. Like, this little trailer. That's what I want. What is my Twitter? My Twitter is at Fintatax. Um, if one of the mods could just go ahead and drop a Twitter link for me. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter as well, like I said, um, I'll be tweeting out all the updates and stuff like that. You can follow me on Twitter for updates on the channel and stuff like that. So, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you guys could follow me on Twitter, like I said, if you have got a Twitter account, go ahead and do so. If you haven't got a Twitter account, you should make one. It's the best place to stay up to date with all the current content creators and stuff like that. Uh, which Pokemon you think will get the anime voice treatment? Oh god, no. I don't know. Can you try and read the subtitles? I can't read Dutch. Erzulanuk? I know, I can't do that. I can't do that. This That is adorable. That Look at that. Look how cute that thing is. Like how cute that thing! It's gonna happen because now Super Smash Bros. Yo, I want Super Smash Bros. to come on the 3D uh, on the uh, Nintendo Switch. So I don't know. 
But these are the caves we were talking about. These little caves here are just for when, um, essentially, you know, the Pikachu's to get up and about and stuff like that. So do you think Solgaleo becomes a Megazoid in the trailer? Yeah, that's insane. I still don't really remember the power plant that can't be accessed. Exactly, like in X and Y, we had the power plant that couldn't be accessed. X and Y Pokemon. Uh... It's like this. This couldn't be accessed at all. Like here. Like, what was all this about? No one ever spoke about it and stuff like that, so I don't know. Bro, you barely play Smash. Bro, I can play Smash. Gamer Guy just subscribed. We have 30 subscribers away from 30 for 500. That is insane. Fade, if you look between the, uh, what I call uh, an acrylic, you can see Phil Galio, you can see the ultra versions and their rising sun and full moon phases. Like I said, there definitely is something here. There definitely is something here. Like this, this salt, this Lunala is something definitely. This is definitely something interesting. This is definitely something interesting. Jordan just subscribed. Thank you so much, my dude. I checked the last two tweets. Okay, I need to zoom back in because hey, my my Twitter has gone all crazy right now. And didn't these players rush around and be a lit game? Like I said, they they're fused. They 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 really are fused. So I don't know. I don't know. Definitely looks evil. It does look evil. Something strong is controlling this, and I feel like it's Necrozma. I really feel like it is. The Aether Kalos branch? That could happen. So, Shark, thank you so much for the subscription. Like I said, there were those little crystals, if you guys can remember, there were those little crystals that um, people were talking about that, you know, like what Ash can do Battle Bond with. So, I don't know. Carnage, just subscribe. Thank you so much. 22 subscribers away, guys. If there's 22 people in the chat that haven't hit that subscription button and you do want to help us reach our goal, it would be greatly appreciated. Remember, we will be doing daily live content for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So make sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any more videos to come. Thank you guys so, so much for coming through and supporting today's live stream, though. It looks absolutely insane. Lunala looks dope, though. It does. Lunala does look dope. Anyone here want to Diamond and Pearl Remix instead? I would have loved Diamond and Pearl Remix, so, but hey. The new forms look photoshopped. They do, like, look how blue this one is. Like, compared to, um, this, this is it. This is what I was speaking about. It only ever goes in that when it's doing its move. So why? So why is it in this phase when you're battling it? Oh wait, adding up on the call list thing, the item called Upgrade Slices and manages to steal them after you catch it. He takes to the Pokemon about clipping the Pokemon down. A new battle end, why not? True that. True that. Think about it, if Luzamine was able to fuse with an Ultra Beast and Necrozma is like an Ultra Beast, he can fuse with the Pokemon, specifically the Legendaries. I say, you know, I don't know. Why does it keep saying I'm a sub to you? I don't know, my dude. There needs to be more endgame. I hope there is more endgame after this when we finish it. But hey, I know the storyline is going to be absolutely insane for it. I know it is. I know it's going to be absolutely insanely good. I'm so excited for it, guys. I really am excited. Are you satisfied with day today's direct, says Wally West? Yes, definitely, definitely satisfied with that. I mean, hey, it was a great direct. We've had a lot of new information. You know, it's a brand new Pokemon game. Why wouldn't you be happy? You know, why wouldn't you be happy for this type of thing? I know I said a lot about Diamond and Pearl Remakes, but hey, it's a new Pokemon game. Diamond and Pearl Remakes would have been absolutely insane, but I absolutely loved Pokemon Sun and Moon. And now I get to play it again, which is insane. 17 subscribers away, guys, from 34, 500, halfway to 35k, which is insane. Pokemon brings us all happiness. Exactly, a new Pokemon game, people get hyped, and I am extremely hyped for this. So, they said the storyline is alternative. Exactly. And you know, right at the end, after you finish Pokemon Sun and Moon, you can go into the wormhole and it'll take you into another dimension. And that's where you get, like, the counterpart to what you choose, so you can get, like, another Nebi. 
So, hey, Dan's Games Official CC, subscribe, thank you so much. Uh, can you put the Pokemon theme on? I would love to, my man, if I didn't want to get copyrighted. Fatex, may the legendary stay in their attacking form and try and repel the Dinier from Necrozma. No, oh, that'd be insane. What if Lunala and Solgalia, this is their actual forms? They created Necrozma. Jojo, just subscribe. What if they created Necrozma? That'd be insane. In the direct, they said there would be add more features. What if next year Gen 8 comes out and then Diamond and Pearl remakes come out? Because the second and third gen, that's 2 and 2, 4, 3 and 2, 6, exactly. The Pokedex entry says Lunala is female and Ultra Lunala is pink as in female. And so Galia is male and Ultra Lugana is blue and male. Cool. Hi, hi. When did you hear about this? I just got here. What did you mean? Like I said, I, I go. Could you imagine if Lunala and Solgaleo created it? I don't know. AJ Mega I'll just subscribe. Thank you so much, my boy. Fifteen subscribers away from thirty-four five hundred. Absolutely insane. Oh my god, think you should do more Pokemon game theories. Like I said, I, I I absolutely love doing this thing, like speculations and stuff like that, for you guys to come out and we chat about it because it brings you so much closer and it opens up your mind so much more for what actually is going on. That's what I'm saying. So it's insane. It's insane. What if Necrozma possessed them? That's what I'm saying. What I hear about this information? Um, this is just information that we've seen on the internet, my friend. Let me know, who do you think looks better? Do you think Solgaleo looks better or Lunala looks better? Dan, did you just subscribe? Thank you so much, bro. Out of all the gens, who's your favorite Pokemon character in all gen? Mine's Garatina, and in gen 5 had a good storyline. Uh, my favorite Pokemon, a character, and gen. My favorite Pokemon is Umbreon, character is Ethan, and favorite gen is Fall. There's still no new screenshots, but hey, look at this. He looks an absolute tank. I'm telling you, you're battling these Pokemon here. You are battling those things. Hey, why are you so cute? I don't know. Lunala is the best, definitely. Lunala looks better, so Gali looks like a Mega. Yo, this thing looks like a Transformer. I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks like a Transformer. In the battle tree, you should be able to battle the Seven Sages in the sequel. That'd be cool. I don't think they created Necrozma. I, they probably didn't. I'm just going off like random stuff. I think that Necrozma wants to bring the Ultra Beast to our world, so it possesses Solgaleo and Lunala because they have the power to bring the Ultra Beast to our world. That could make sense. Like, but you know what's crazy? It's crazy. If the Ultra Beasts aren't Pokemon, how does Solgaleo and Lunala have the power? Did they create the Ultra Beast? What created the Ultra Beast? I don't know. If it's as you watch Max Morpho's Pokemon channel, I don't know. Then if Team Galactic Commanders can be battled in the battle tree. Hey, that's dope. No more Pokemon Fusion. I think something is I think something is amiss and I cannot wait for E3 to happen. I'm sure before E3, I feel like we will get some more information regarding it and stuff like that. Hey you Pikachu returns to Sun and Moon. That's insane. We're 11 subscribers away from 34,500. Like I said, guys, if you are wanting to keep up to date with all the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news, make sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any more content to come. Hit that bell button. That will alert you every time we go live to do these live discussions. I will try and at least do two a week for the live discussions because, like I said, this is the first one that we've done. And it's been absolutely insanely good. Like, you guys have come out and supported it. So I really want to make this a series where we have a live discussion for an hour or two. Talking about the different things that could be happening and stuff like that. So, I don't know. If you guys would love to see something like that, let me know down below in the chat. What if they are Pokemon? How come you can use Pokeballs on them? They can still use normal Pokeballs? I, exactly. I, I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know. Wait, also, uh, when's the stream ending? The stream will be ending in around, uh, in just like a few more minutes. E3, so it's on YouTube, um, will be live. I kind of, wait. This is going to be a Mega Necrozma? I doubt it. Alternative forms? That's insane. Fantax, uh, do you think Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is better than Pokemon Go? Um, Pokemon Go is its own kind of thing. Pokemon Go is its own kind of thing. I, I just love genuine 3D, 3DS games for it. Did you notice that their foreheads are covered like when they have their signature moves and their symbols are forehead now it's covered? Exactly! When they do their signature moves, they get the little thing pop up in the middle and Necrozma's blocking that. I feel like Necrozma is controlling these Pokemon. He really is. He really is. So, like I said, 
This is definitely going to turn into a series. We're nine subscribers away from 34,500, halfway to 35k. Insane support, guys. Thank you so much for coming out and support it. Definitely, the, these are the things that I want to do and want to talk about it more and stuff like that. Is it legit without the EG? Did you play Pokemon Go? I did play Pokemon Go, yes. What if Necrozma was created like Mewtwo and Genesect and they were made to fuse and bring out the full power of um, the third from a third party to control? That could be a thing. Dinobot, Grimlock, just subscribe. Thanks so much. Fintex, I wonder if they'll be catchable um, or their catch rate is going to be harder. Um, I don't know. I don't think this... I think this is a form. And I think when you capture it, it won't be like this. I don't know. The Naruto just subscribed. Thank you so much, bro. Would you prefer to have Ultra Sun and Moon or Gen 4 Remix? That's a tough one. Um, I would love either either, but I'm happy because I've said this from the beginning. The Pokemon Stars is what we wanted. This is our Pokemon Stars. This is the alternative to Sun and Moon, what we wanted. This is it. So Gold and Silver is going to be on the Virtual Console. I did see that. No, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Six subscribers away, my dudes. Mega Soul Galio is in the chat. was popping. <laughs> What's popping you two, Abby? Welcome to the live stream. I think they are controlled by Necrozma because they have the same symbols. They are. They are really controlled by Necrozma. And I will... From day one, I will say that Necrozma is controlling these Pokemon. Or, Coalesce has found some kind of way to slice up Necrozma and infuse it with these Pokemon. That's what's happening. I have a theory on this new game. Drop it down for me, bro. Bro, it was released that the Nintendo said they were going to Mega Forms. They said that? That's pretty dope. The Gen 4 remix already coming to the show now, so yeah, I can see it's happening. Yeah, I think like they are like Primal Groudon and Kyogre. I think these, yeah, essentially these what they could be. But, I don't know, Necrozma's got a, you can see. It's like, I'm happy in a way that they've included Necrozma, because Necrozma had literally no storyline to it. But the same with Zygarde, Zygarde had no storyline to it, so... Bro, it was released on the Nintendo, said they were mega farms. You need, um, they're like overpower. It was released at Nintendo. Nintendo said this? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the Nintendo official site. Bro, we don't want to see Pokemon Go, do we? Here we go. Okay, that's regarding that. So here we go. Um, okay, so two new Pokemon forms were shown resembling that the legendary Pokemon Solgaleo and Lunala, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, have been powered up with new additions to the story and features from Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon are scheduled to release worldwide on November 17th. So, two new Pokemon forms, which is insane. Uh, gotta go now, Faint. Really enjoyed the stream. Hey, thank you so much. Hey, for the attack. Tell everybody that there might be an Ultra Cosmog and Ultra Cosmo him. That'd be insane. If we would dab when you close out the stream, I will dab. If we hit 34, 500, I'll dab when I'm closing out the stream. We're five subscribers away. <laughs> Just like Mewtwo, it was man made. Exactly. So they are forms. Yes, they are forms of it, which is interesting. But what kind of form? Because they've already got their full moon phase, which is like a different form. And now they have another form? Something interesting is definitely going down here. Pokefuse. I just noticed this, but the new 2DS models seem to have the same colors as both Solgalo and Lunala. Yeah, I saw something like that. That was interesting. It's part of the channel. Uh, there could be new forms like Necrozma, like similar to the unknown Pokemon. Exactly. Luke just subscribed. Thank you so much, bro. Does anybody want the contest to return? Ah, uh, not necessarily. The question is, are there new forms of Necrozma or cover legendaries? I think they are... I think they're just new forms of Solgaleo and Lunala, and Necrozma has something to do... Something, he, he must be able to fuse with the Pokemon. He must have, so... It's insane. All the Ultra Beasts when Necrozma took over the world, and the Kahuna's legendary totem... Um, Pokemon lost against them and Necrozma modified the legendaries to stop Pokemon rebelling. That'd be insane. 
Homie, just subscribe, my boy. Thank you so much. I see 10 dislikes. Who did this? I don't know. But we just hit. Uh, homie, just subscribe, my boy. Thank you so much. We just hit 34,500 subscribers. We are halfway. YouTube, Abby, just subscribe. Thank you so much. We are halfway to 35k thank you guys so so much for an amazing live stream tonight you guys have been absolutely insane if you guys missed the direct you can go ahead and watch that as well uh it would be greatly appreciated if you could do so we absolutely lost our minds it was super fun if you guys would like to see more directs um of this masura just subscribe thank you so much if you guys would like to see more um of these like little little discussion videos where we stream for an hour or two up towards you know coming um up towards the new games leave a like hit that thumbs up button hit that subscription button as well it'll let me know that you guys would like to see more of this i want to thank you guys so so much for coming through and supporting tonight's live stream it's been absolutely insane i will see you back tomorrow we will have a brand new discussion video tomorrow if some new information has dropped if new information has dropped if not we will be doing our shiny hunting stream so, I'm going to try my best to get a video up for you guys and stuff like that. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for the support. Like I said, everybody in the chat, you guys are absolutely amazing. Tomorrow, if there is new information, David, just subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, if, you know, if new games get it, like, if new information drops, then I will be sure to go ahead and definitely hook you guys up with the, uh, with the news and stuff like that. Just before I go real quick, uh, what needs to happen here is we need to make that but we are gonna get up on out guys we are six likes away as well from 200 likes um if you guys haven't hit that thumbs up button um it'd be greatly appreciated if we could do so there you go george but yeah guys like i said thank you again for coming through with dabbing everybody wants me to dab i don't understand why but hey we're dabbing out here thank you guys so much i will see you later bye are ready for the cringy dab? You guys made that happen. You guys made that happen. <laughs>